What's going on, people? It's Emmanuel from Basketball Bicker. Now, the Oklahoma City Thunder just lost in the first round to the Utah Jazz in six games. You know, first, let's talk about the game a little bit. The OK3, they didn't play too well. If you look at, you know, some of their numbers, Carmelo Anthony, three for seven, seven points. Paul George, two for 16. Five points. Russell Westbrook shot 43 times and scored 46. So, a first round exit. When they first came together, this was, you know, possibly at least a conference finals team who was thought to challenge the Warriors at least. But now, in the first round, to a Utah Jazz team that's led by a rookie, a great rookie, but still a rookie so th this this is a real tough loss for the thunder and you know they're as as they are right now they're not gonna look the same way you know a year from now so where do russell westbrook and the oklahoma city thunder go from here so we'll start off with paul george pg i don't think he'll be back you know this they lost in the first round it wasn't looking too good. He had a bad game in the closeout. So there's really no reason for him to stick around. You know, he's from LA. You have Philly over there, who's a nice young team you can win. You know, OKC is, you know, it's it's pretty sure it's a, it's a beautiful place, but it's not LA, it's not New York, you know, even though he's spent years in Indiana. I'm thinking now that if he has a choice now, he's going to go to the most comfortable spot and the spot where he has the best chance to win. So I don't think PG will be back. PG is at it. On to Melo. Melo is an easy one. He's making money next year, 26 or $28 million, So Melo is staying put. No matter how, how good or bad his production is, Melo is staying put, even though his best days are far behind. Seven points, he only took five shots. He, Raymond Felton took some of his minutes, you know, late in the game. So this is, it's crazy to see Melo like this. So, but now let's move on to Russell Westbrook. Westbrook is a, it's a special case, an interesting case because Westbrook is great. He's a Super great talent. He averaged a triple double two seasons in a row. But the way his personality is on the court, he's just a one man wrecking crew. But you can't win an NBA title or multiple NBA playoff series being just one man. You know, you need help. If we even look at LeBron James, you know, he doesn't win the title in 2016. He doesn't beat Golden State without Kyrie being that, you know, excellent number two. If he doesn't, you know, encourage Kyrie, if he doesn't give Kyrie the space to lift his game up and be that great number two superstar, then there's no way they win. Even Jordan relied on his team. And Kobe, as much as Kobe was such a competitive, uh, anti-social player on the court, Kobe knew very well that he needed his teammates to step up and he needed them to play big. He relied on Pal heavily. You know, he wanted Pal to step up. You know, he, Kobe, as much as <laughs> As focused as he is on himself, he knew that he needed to lift his teammates in some way. He needed to pressure them in some way to lift their game in order for him to win. So I think that's the next step in the evolution of Russell Westbrook, finding a way to bring his teammates with him. Because you can't win by yourself. As good as you are, you can't win on your own. If that was the case, the Cavaliers would have swept Indiana by now. But 
They're going to seven games. So, and it's interesting how last year Russell Westbrook was a, such a sympathetic figure. You know, he was just praised all throughout the season. But once he got the the two superstars, the pressure was back on, and all of the criticism it started to return. So, a lot of times we think that once the talent comes in, that it's just going to become smooth sailing and it's going to be an easy process, but that just adds the pressure to win on. And that pressure to win is crazy. Once you have the talent, you have the pressure to win and people are going to hold it against you. The same way they held it against him when KD was still there. So the pressure is back on. So with if PG leaves, you know, I, I should leave some of the pressure that's you know that's on you know, Westbrook to win with all of the talent, but maybe this is the best situation for him—a team that's not great collectively, but where he can still show up his excellent individual talent, where he's just everywhere on the court. You know, maybe he's not the type of player that you know that can really lift up a team in that way. You know, and that's okay because he's still a great, great player. He's done some things that we we've never seen in the game before. And he has crazy heart. So it's it's a very interesting case with Westbrook, but we'll have to keep an eye out on Oklahoma City's their their next steps from here. Anyway, let me know what you think about OKC. Where do they go from here? You know, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Once again, I'm Emmanuel. Peace.